Hi, hope you're doing well on this fine day. In this video, I'll show you how to use Task View in Windows 10. You can create virtual desktops to help you better organize your active windows and make it easy for you to toggle back and forth between them. This is a feature that I've been around for a long time, but thought this video could be helpful for those who are not aware of it. And if you're like me and have at least seven to eight windows open at any given time, you're gonna like this. You can find the task view icon in the Windows taskbar. When you click on it, you'll see all of your open windows. Scrolling down will reveal your recently used windows. The history goes back for 30 days. For now, let's focus on the active windows. Clicking on a thumbnail will bring that window to the front of your screen. Going back to the task view, You'll see on the upper left that there's an icon to add a new desktop. Click on it and you see now that there is a new desktop called Desktop 2. This desktop is empty for now so let's add some windows. Open the task view and select and drag all the windows that you want to move to the second desktop. Personally, I like to organize my email, calendar, and teams on one desktop since I use those most frequently, and the rest on a second desktop. To navigate between your desktops, open your task view and select the appropriate desktop. Or you can simply hit Control Windows left or right arrows to quickly cycle between them. You can of course create additional desktops, but I find that having more than three desktops can be counterproductive as it becomes hard to keep track of where you're keeping the windows. But staying within two or three desktops help you organize and group similar windows together and make it easier to toggle between them. You can use Windows Snap Assist feature in conjunction with the virtual desktop to take full advantage of your screen real estate. You can click and drag the title bar of your window to either the left or right side of the screen and it'll snap to that half of the screen. Then you can choose another window to fill in the other half. More easily, you can use a keyboard shortcut, windows and left or right arrows to snap the selected file in place. Okay, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, please like and subscribe. Thanks and bye now.